can't take things for granted in life. You can't assume that you're number one and nobody can touch you. And just because you're the best, that people are going to do favors for you because that's not the way it works. Sergeant Anthony Wallace and an off-duty colleague were shot to death during a day-long standoff in Alaska on August 28th. And Wallace, uh, authorities say he and his partner were shot in the small village of Huna, Alaska. A few of Alaska's finest were taken away all too soon. An RIT grad who realized his dream of being a police officer was gunned down in the line of duty. Tony Wallace was one of the few hard of hearing officers in the country. None of this would have been possible without you to cut my Lord and Savior. Um, all things are possible through him. And uh, if it wasn't for you to cut and God, there's no way I would be here now. Remembering him today as a natural leader with a will to win. Not surprised that he went on to a career in law enforcement. He had a family history in law enforcement. His father and grandfather both were police officers. Friends say Wallace was aware of the dangers of becoming a police officer, but was driven to do it to no end. Sir, and it's, it's what he always wanted to do was be a police officer. Wallace, who was hard of hearing, joined campus safety and even taught a class on safety and the deaf. If you, had, if you didn't know he was hearing impaired, you you wouldn't have known it. He wouldn't have let you know because he didn't use it as an excuse. Uh, there were some community service that I had to do. Uh, I got to meet some of the officers at RIT uh, Public Safety. And I kind of set the tone for the rest of my career uh, in the public safety field. And in 2003, um, I got a phone call from RIT Public Safety saying, hey, you know, would you like to take up a job with us? From there, it's been nothing but a positive experience for me. Um, they sent me out for training, they sent me out to um, learn different things. Um, what set up for me to become a police officer up in Alaska, which is where I live now. Before leaving for Alaska Police in 2008, Wallace made a name for himself at RIT where he was an All-American wrestler. I said, you know, what did it take to be an All-American? Here I am, become All-American. We've been talking to people who knew him well. We're going to share more of their stories about Tony Wallace. Marine Sergeant Tony Wallace is being remembered as more than a hero here. In his personal life, he was a father, a son, and a friend to so many. He um, wanted to be the best, and I'll bet you he was a great police officer. The idea that he got shot as a cop really doesn't surprise, because he would not back down from anybody. And we were on a traffic post together, and it was about 95 degrees out, and he was this big hulk of a man trying to get some shade from a, from a light pole, and, and I pulled up and said, what are you doing? I'm one of the most amazing people I ever met to come spinal meningitis, to become a three-time All-American, to become a police officer, work his way up the ranks to become a sergeant. And as far as I'm concerned, he was an All-American law enforcement icon. I described Tony's passion and the eagerness to serve as inspiring. He was just that kind of guy. Just the, as big as he was physically, it's probably 220. Uh, his heart was even bigger. He's real happy, really upbeat, you know. And I ask him, well, what's, what's with this big old grin on your face, you know? And, and the next sentence, he pulls out this picture. You know, and there's a picture of his beautiful 12-year-old daughter, you know, that he says, that, right there. RIT President Bill Destler had this to say about Wallace's death. Quote, in Tony's memory, I hope we can find time to appreciate all the members of law enforcement who put their lives at risk for us every day. I think they did not expect, you know, what we're going to give them, what we're going to provide for them. years old, he leaves behind a 12-year-old daughter. I am Tony Wallace's daughter. No, Tony, hang in there. You're going to be all right. I, I'm done, but it's not the end. I, I don't want this to be over. And my 
I didn't want it to be over because I knew that if I quit, it's done and I'm not a quitter.